and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Tough Vladimir Swain. Built this deck for Meme Tier Monday to, to play a deck with um, like the Crimson cards and Chain Vest and with Vladimir. Um, that was kind of like the like the shell of the deck and it actually turned out fairly well. Like we uh, combined it with Swain and some you know some of these other Noxian cards to go along with it. Demacia gives us some good value cards like Grizzled Ranger. Uh, Laurent Bladekeeper can pump up our Crimson Curator or our Crimson Disciple. And honestly, the deck actually worked out fairly well. And so we are um, graduating the deck from Meme Tier Monday to actual ranked status. And we're going to go ahead and play uh, some games over and ranked with it. Let's go have some fun with some Vladimir and Swain with some tough stuff. All right, here we go. Let's go play five games. Hey, Killy, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. Haven't had the most uh, luck so far today, but that's what Vladimir Swain is for. Looks like our opponent is playing an ephemeral deck. That's gone. I'm keeping one Crimson Disciple in a Chain Vest. Do we, should I keep the second Crimson Disciple or not? I think I'm going to mulligan the second one. And look for other things to do. All right, so according to the comment on YouTube, so I was thinking that, okay, so Crimson Disciple says whenever I survive damage, do that. So if we Unyielding Spirit, then it can't take damage, so it doesn't survive damage, so it doesn't do two. That was my impression. However, I was told on YouTube that it actually still counts as surviving damage, even though it can't take it. And so it, it still counts as that. And so if we put the Unyielding Spirit on the Crimson Disciple, they'll just never be able to get rid of it, and it's just always doing two damage all the time. Unfortunately, though, whenever I mulligan the other two mana card, our first <laughs> cards are 5-drop, five 5-drop, five 8-drop, eight 8-drop. Eight Not ideal. Okay. Um... Be sad if they just play Will of Ionia. <laughs> so of course they do. Or it may have been a little greedy putting that tough, you know, using that tough card. But really, if you think about it, all we did was just trade one for one. We traded the tough card for the Will of Ionia. If you really think about it, that's all we did. Look what you did. All right, so we're both at four cards. In hand. What is when you return malevolence? Yeah, so if, yes, uh, that's according to YouTube comments, yes, if if we Unyielding Spirit the Crimson Disciple, then it will still trigger, even though it doesn't technically take damage. It still survives damage. All right, so we're going to be playing Unyielding Spirit this turn. Who are we Unyielding Spiriting? 
Is it Vladimir? This one's mine. Or is it Your path ends here. Crimson Disciple? Or I could just play Radiant Guardian. Maybe just play Radiant Guardian. They are a Will of Ionia deck. I don't really want to Unyielding Spirit this and then they Will of Ionia. Okay, perfect. Vladimir can't die. Tiana Crown Guard, I think. One candle for every soul. I guess I should attack the other way, shouldn't I? I should have the Vladimir second, because if they're going to chump block, they'd rather chump block the 7-7. Seven, seven. And so then I would have had Vladimir level up, so we would have dealt one extra point of damage to them. So it could be at 7 instead of 8. Yeah, it, it still has it has the same the exact same ability, it just gains regeneration. It gets plus one plus one and gains regeneration. Let me show you what I can do. And you can yeah, also uh, I have the card bot. If you do exclamation point card and then type the card name, you can see what it, they do. Um, but then you if you with champions, if you type the the card name and then plus, it will tell you the the leveled up Justice version does. Single combat's like the perfect draw.
Dragon binds us. Accept your fate. Deny. Them down to one. So I can I can single combat, have my Crimson Disciple fight the one three and kill them like that. I think we will do that. Alright, first game, first win. For tough Vladimir Swain. Unyielding spirit Vladimir. Getting a bunch of damage in there. We only moved up six spots. We fall so much whenever we lose. We win, we move up six spots. Alright. We're gonna have to do pretty good for rank up Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> you know, tomorrow's our our more try hard day where we play the play, you know, kind of the tier one decks for rank up Sunday. Um, we're only moving up six spots <laughs> per win. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a little better. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use yeah for tomorrow. No, I'm gonna use the Twisted Fizz. And I haven't really decided besides that. I'm thinking about playing um, like Karma Lux or um, Vi you know uh, Vimerdinger. Vimerdinger. And think about Karina Control. You don't really see Karina Control around very much, but I know that. And it's not like my favorite deck, but my videos that I've done on Karina Control in the past have always done well. Yeah, and, and I played Karma Lux one time, and that, that YouTube video did really well too. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Not that good. Love a taste of the action. Add this to your bill. Got a bunch of champion level up triggers. 8 out of 12 for Swain, 4 out of 6 for Vlad. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. Time for Vlad. So I'm just going to block here. They will trade. But I get the Vladimir trigger, so that gives me six. So we have leveled up Vladimir now. Ugh. Rough. I really wish we had one more mana with leveled up Vladimir, though, like where I could play one of these other cards also. Okay. Chain Vest could be cool. This will hopefully be a good uh, noction for her hand with having um, with having regeneration on Vlad. Misfortune being a 4 4, though. Certainly a bummer. Ooh. Carved from 
from the savage cold. Stay alive, lad. Come on, Vlad, stay alive, stay alive. Yes. Atta boy, Vlad. Okay. Tick-tock, the hour approaches. Sure hope they don't have anything else. No more tricks over there. No. No. No, let this happen. Come on, just let this happen. Indecision is the first of many. Victory yes. I should have done both Noxion Fervors on this Vladimir. I kind of forgot about the top. <laughs> it was a little risky doing the other Noxion Fervor over there. Alright, 2-0. Oh. The Vladimir Swain combo. It's a sweet game so far. Hey, Ev. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, those are some sweet sweet games so far. All right, 2-0. Oh. See, we're leaving all of our luck. For good old Vladimir Swain. All right, Vimerdinger. All right, keeping Grizzled Ranger. Let's see what else we can get. Got both our Vladimirs. Turn five, of course, is the turn we really got to watch out for. Both their champions costing five mana. Um. Hmm. Play demolitionist or wait. I think we play. If I wait, it's gonna be kind of tough because if I want to go curator and then grizzled ranger, then Vladimir. Then, you know, like we're waiting until turn six before we would play this. The thing about waiting though, is it would give me the three mana for might. 
walk, please, for the right prize. I walk my path. Mm. Well, wish I would have waited. As fate wills. Hey, Dewan, I am doing good. How are you doing? That's good. Not sure if y'all have realized that or not yet. Card's good. Here we go. Definitely hope they don't have another twin disciplines. My plan is, you know, they block with Vi, I might. It's my plan. I'd never keep my guests waiting. I'm one mana short from having Unyielding Spirit. But this is a Ionia deck. So Unyielding Spirit's not reliable. I was thinking of making a Heimerdinger Twisted Bait deck. Yeah, those two could go together. Yeah, those two could definitely go together. Bunch of good stuff. That's a good sign. So they have no Heimerdinger in hand. That's why that's a good sign. One suffers, another. How great would it be if this actually resolved? If they have no spells and this is just like we get to single combat and then and then you know our card gets bounced before it dies. They just don't get to bump up by if they don't have another spell. I I don't really know how they wouldn't have another spell, and I think they're just trying to decide which spell to play and how to play it. But that would be great if they didn't have another spell. Yeah, I could honestly see Vi getting a nerf. I, I'd say it's probably 50-50. That'd be my best guess. I didn't update our deckless commands. Did I not? Okay. I will do that golden blade. There you go. That's the deck right there.
Hmm. Hello, my darling. Hello, Moto. You're welcome. Deep Meditations, probably one of the top, definitely one of the top five new cards that are not champions, for sure, but it's, it's one of the, one of the top new cards. down to 10. I can make it 6 if I cast Might to make this block. If I must. So do I want to trade Might for 4, you know, basically have Might do 4 damage? And I think so. I think that's a good use of Might. Four damage. I feel like if I don't cast it there, like I'm just not gonna like play it by the time the game's over. I could definitely regret playing it right now because it's supposed to be our card to pair with Swain, and whenever we play Leviathan, then we will get a Swain. And you know, I may certainly regret not having it for the Swain. But we'll see. I I feel like that works out for us. Yeah, I think they could do that, Skya. I think that I think they could have Vladimir drain instead of do just just do damage. If it dealt damage and you gain that much life. I think that would make sense just from a, a card perspective and everything, and I, I don't think that, that would make Vladimir too good, like at all. I I still don't think Vladimir would see that much play, but I think I think it would be a very safe, um, very safe buff to Vladimir. Dewan, you can go ahead. Feel free to link it here, Dewan. Deep meditation is pretty awesome. I guess I don't actually have to play anything first. The onus is on my opponent to do something because if we just pass turn, Leviathan kills them. So I don't have to like, you know, play Swain first and you know, let them have better reaction and you know, tap on my mana. I, I don't have to. The onus is on them. If they want to like thermogenic beam for nine, you know, we can unyielding spirit or transfusion. You know, we can. We can be the person that acts second. Imminently logical. So four mana, so you're still looking at Will of Ionia. It's kind of just Will of Ionia, right? Interesting, 
solution. We need an unyielding boat. We need a bigger boat. We need a bigger unyielding boat. That's true, I could have just passed again. The Yeah, that's true, I could have just passed again. Because the same same theory applies. They played Heimerdinger, but that doesn't stop them from losing. I was thinking that if they had Will of Ionia, that if I just attack and they go Will of Ionia, bounce my thing, and then I just replay it, sec you know, post combat. And if they had, if they wanted to do Barrier Life Steal, we had our Unyielding Spirit to stop Barrier Life Steal. Yeah, Transfusion still work on Unyielding. Yeah, you can, you'd still do one to the Unyielding thing and pump something else up, um, but that it just won't take the one damage. But yeah, you, you'll still. You can still target it with the transfusion. No problem. Demacia. Let's get rid of Fervor. Hope we draw like a two drop. May not. But I do kind of like this Crimson Curator plus Blade Keeper combo. The Demacia opponents we've played against today have had absurd curves every game. Like, absurd. And so far they've had the best one drop, best two drop. We'll see. Yep. Getting used to this and I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, I think Kinku Elusive is a, is a good deck to craft. I have, um, I have a version. I have a championless version that I like and, and that um, I recommend crafting. This and uh, that deck there. We changed it up afterwards and like at the end of the video and the the switch up with that has really looked good. You're welcome, Ender. And I think I'm pretty sure the deck list on there is the correct one after, like what what I changed to afterwards. I'm pretty sure that's the correct deck list on there. I pity you. My thinking here is that I need another, need a second body for transfusion. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Okay. 
I need two, like if they just go straight to combat, I need two blockers to be able to cast Transfusion. I don't know, maybe I should have just blocked and saved the four life. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. Vi stands for Come on. Precision. So I mean by about these Demacia decks having the perfect curve, like how do you beat turn one Fleet Feather Tracker, turn two War Chefs, turn three Loyal Badger Bear, turn four Grizzled Ranger, turn five Vi that also had plus you know plus four whenever you played it, so it was a Vi from the opening hand, and then turn six Cythria. What are you supposed to do? Like legitimately, what are you actually supposed to do? Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. I guess surrender. This is no Has been every Demacia opponent we've played against today. Earlier we had the opponent. Like, I guess our, our last time we played against them, they still had the that exact same first four turns of uh, Tracker, War Chefs, Badger Bear, Grizzled Ranger. But then turn five, instead of playing that Pump to Vi, they had another Fleet Feather Tracker plus a Bannerman. And then turn six, they had <clears throat> another Badger Bear and a Fiora. We gotta get on the board fast. Which doesn't look like it. For the Empire. Blast them. Here with these mulligans. Uh, reporting in. Strike at their foundations. Slow down, will you? Do I think Demacia is the most OP region right now? First one's free. Um. I mean, it's the best singular region. It is up there. Let's make it deep. He said, other than unyielding and the last breath for, I think it's balanced. Yeah, I kind of agree. I And honestly, I don't even really mind unyielding. It's kind of just Grizzled. Like, Grizzled Ranger is, this is a messed up card. That. It's really, really a hit. Like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Grizzled Ranger is so good that Demacia um, would be like very fair and balanced if Grizzled Ranger wasn't a card, but with Grizzled Ranger being a card, it's it's yeah, maybe it is the best region. Ooh, they don't have anything to kill that we get to gain five life.
poor burn opponent. We had a very poor hand, but we got to Radiant Guardian, and now they're in trouble. Now they're in a, a lot of trouble. We'll just do this before that thing attacks. Besides Demacia, probably the next, like the other, the other region that's probably the the best besides Demacia, like the the two best, um, I would say is actually Ionia. The all the spells that Ionia has are really good, especially getting the new the new draw to, and just you know it has Will of Ionia and. which is just really important. Oh yeah, like, like Ioni is just kind of splashed in, in so many decks and uh, obviously Karma is great. So that's the one that would be my second choice. Not not Shadow Isles or PNZ is pretty close too. PNZ is probably number three, but behind Ionia and Demacia. So it'd probably be like Demacia or Ionia. Uh, I guess pro probably Demacia one, Ionia two, PNZ three. Maybe Bilgewater three actually. Like Bilgewater and PNZ next. Probably Bilgewater. All right, so we'll go B Bilgewater three, then PNZ four, and then we have Noxus Freljord, and what's the other one? Shadow Isles. Uh, all right, Shadow Isles five, Freljord six, Noxus seven. That would be my personal ranking. So Demacia one, Ionia two. Bilgewater 3, PNZ 4, Shadow Isles 5, Freljord 6, Noxus 7. Yeah, Harvey Harvey has some different rankings. <laughs> Harvey's disagreeing. Um, yeah, I really like Freljord too. I, I enjoy Freljord. Freljord's... My, my favorite regions are probably Freljord, Bilgewater, and Noxus. Like, those, those three are my favorite regions. Yeah, I think I had Bilgewater 3, right? Yeah, I had Bilgewater 3. Demacia, Ionia, Bilgewater. And then PNZ, Shadow Isles. Like, PNZ has, like, some really, really high, like, really, really good cards. Like, you know, Vi, Heimerdinger, um, Boom Crew Rookie, Get Excited. It has some great cards, but it, it lacks depth. It always needs, an, you know, like, another region. It, it really does lack depth. Where Bilgewater has tons and tons of depth, but doesn't have like has a couple of great cards like Twisted Fate and then um, Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Yordle Grifter has like those four. Um, you can maybe include Riptide Rex if you want, but uh, you know has a lot more depth. Like it, it just keeps on going with Bilgewater. All right, so yeah, but anyway, yeah, the the. Um, balance patch is on monday which is uh or like they're gonna announce what the balance patch is on monday so in two days or if you, those y'all watch on youtube like the you know tomorrow for y'all and uh you know so that'll be announced then and it usually gets announced i think at like 8 a.m pacific time i think around there and then it won't come into effect till wednesday Honestly, don't think they need to change very much. I think that the, the game is really balanced um, as is. The two cards, if I had to pick like two cards maybe to um, nerf in some way, it would probably it would probably be Vi and Grizzled Ranger. Um, but those two, and then Karma 
and maybe Boom Crew Rookie are like the probably on the top of the watch list for me. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's talk about our deck. We talked to Vladimir Swain. Uh, for also, y'all on YouTube, you know, leave those comments. Let me know what what do you, th uh, you know, feel free to let me know about you know what you think about like those rankings. What would you, what would you do if you were in charge of the balance patch on Monday? Or we, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this deck's fun to play. It's it's solid. You know, we went four one last time. We went four one this time. Lots of close games. We got a little bit more luck in these games than what we had in our previous videos today. Maybe I just need to stand up. Maybe that's what I needed to do. But yeah, we got some got some luck. Um, it's a fun deck to play. I, I like um, I like playing Vladimir decks. I like playing Swain decks. Put them together, and it's good. And then you have like Grizzled Ranger, Radiant, Gar you know, that's just awesome. Radiant Guardian can win you some games against Burn. It's a fun one. All right, so that's tough, Vladimir Swain. It has graduated from meme tier over to ranked tier. But those of y'all watching on YouTube, again, hit that like button, leave those comments, all that kind of stuff. But I re really appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you for the next video.